Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Gold Rush. Uh, as you can see, we've got uh, $121,372 in the bank. I have really been working hard. I went and bought a couple more buckets, and uh, I'm basically having to fill these buckets up like six times, and it takes forever, about an hour before I can actually go through the uh, gold table. Um, I've stated over and over that we needed to have about $200,000 before we fix this tower. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to fix it before we get to $200,000. And just see what happens if we can get six buckets together in this this run right here we should have about two hundred and eighty thousand saved up uh, depending on how much it they take whenever the night falls they always take a lot um, so anyway we're gonna go ahead and get started here I'm gonna see if the tractor has any fuel in it I don't think we need to put it in it but we may uh, let's see here um, no we, we're good on fuel so let's go ahead and turn that off <clears throat> go ahead and get all the pumps started and everything and um and we'll get to it now i'm not going to be showing you guys the entire the entire thing here because it's going to take a good hour probably to to finish uh like filling all these buckets up but um but i will show you uh, a little bit of it and we're going to kind of talk a little bit about uh sort of what's going on with the channel and stuff like that uh some things have uh come up at work and uh some things will be changing just a little bit hopefully not too much but uh, they will be changing some. Let me go ahead and take this cable and put it down there where it's supposed to be. Uh oh. That was strange. Um, go ahead and take this cable and put it down there where it's supposed to be. Get it hooked up so we can start the process. And also we have this water hose we have to drag down here and put it where it's supposed to be as well. And I hope you guys can hear me. I got the microphone a little further away from my face than normal. So I'm hoping it's not uh, not too far away, and you can still hear me clearly. Let's see. Let's go ahead and grab that and wind it up some, and we'll go ahead and take it all the way down here as well. I dropped it. Uh, here it is. We have to take it all the way down here and uh, hook it up to the uh, wash plant as well. There we go. Okay, so everything should be good. Let's go ahead and cut these wash plants on and get them all ready. And I want to bring some buckets down here, of course. Um, so neither have had dirt and I'm good. I just want to make sure we don't lose any any potential gold there. I'm going to run these on down here real fast. Pop them in there just like that. Get stuck on stuff constantly. I hope we can get all this done during the day. It's one. It's almost two o'clock, so we got a little bit of daylight left here. And I really kind of hate working at night, especially whenever I'm trying to uh, trying to film it because you can't see nothing. And it's gotten even harder now that I'm way down here in this hole and I don't have a lot of lights down here. So, all right, let's get started. So, I was talking to you guys about uh, some different things happening at work. So basically, most of you know, just been watching this channel for a little while, know that I work for UPS. I'm a delivery driver. I'm what they consider an air driver. Um, but that's not my actual title. I'm, I'm, my title is an exception air driver. So they can use me when they need me. Well, they need me pretty much all the time. So all I've been doing for the past year and a half is running air. Uh, I get paid really good money to run air. And um, I usually work about six hours a day from 6 a.m. to about 12. And then I work six days a week, that way I get close to uh, close to full-time hours. So, um, what has happened is, in the last the last uh, couple years, you know, well, really since 2008, everybody's been cost-cutting like crazy. And um, UPS is no exception. So, basically, it, and I know that 2008 was a long time ago, but every year it's a little bit more and a little bit more. So, uh, so basically, what's happened is um, they've now wanted to start reducing. They've, they've added more routes in to get rid of overtime for drivers, because a lot of the regular ground drivers are making um, about 10 to 12 hours a day, some of them, and uh, those guys are making about $40 an hour now. So obviously, $60 an hour on overtime is a ridiculous amount of money. Uh, so the company is trying to get that money back any way they can. And one way they can get that money back is to add more routes and more drivers. So even though it doesn't seem like it, adding 
a few new drivers and cutting those overtime hours out is going to save them money in the long run. Or so they say. I don't see how it is, but that's what they say. So, anyway, since they've added those new drivers, now the air driver's job isn't quite as important because our job was basically taking the air off the uh, drivers um, when they, those drivers didn't have enough time to run it all. You know, we would run it. So now they don't need us as much and they want to cut back. So, of course, I'm one of the first ones to lose my position. So since that's happening, I'm probably going to be going uh, to a new job as a more full-time driver working... I'm saying at first it's going to be Tuesday through Saturday and hopefully not very long before it'll be Monday through Friday. And uh, off on Saturdays, except I'll be working more hours. I'll be getting paid more money, but working more hours at the same time. Um, so the videos uh, may slow down a little bit. I'm hoping they don't. I mean, I know they... I haven't been putting out a ton of videos anyways. So, because uh, I've just had a lot going on here around the house lately with a newborn baby and all this stuff. It's just really hard to get out here and, and put out the content that I'd like to put out. But it's going to kind of slow down some or remain at least the same. Uh, it's not going to speed up like I was hoping it would. And the live streams may slow down a little bit during the week. I'll still be doing live streams on the weekends just like always. Um, and then, you know, if... If I'm not working on Saturdays, we'll definitely be, or if I am working on Saturdays, we'll definitely be doing live streams on Mondays during the day, and I'll be doing a lot of my filming on Sundays and Mondays. And uh, we'll just kind of have to play it by ear and see what happens, but it's a good opportunity really for me to go make a lot more money, which is good. I mean, I was kind of banking on, hoping that the channel would kind of take off a little bit, and I'd make uh, a little through it and through Twitch, and, and Twitch is taking off pretty good. I, I'm doing okay on Twitch, and by the way, if you guys haven't went over to Twitch and followed, I would uh, greatly appreciate the follow and, and sharing the uh, the channel and all that stuff. And if you you know if you have the means and want to subscribe, that uh, I'd appreciate that as well. Um, but um, you know we do this game on Twitch some. Uh, mostly on Twitch we do iRacing racing and we do some American Truck Driving Simulator, which I don't put on YouTube because I don't think it would make for a great YouTube video. I am stuck on something here. What's going on? Oh, I see what it is. I'm stuck on that wire. Hmm. There we go. Um, anyway. Uh, those are pretty fun as well. So what we'll do when we do ATS, American Truck, or Sim American truck Driving Simulator, uh, we basically just drive all over the place in a semi-truck and uh, do song requests and just kind of chat and listen to music and stuff. And It's just kind of a cool... Just kind of a thing where we can just kind of hang out together, and uh, there's nothing real serious going on, you know, and we just kind of take it easy. So, anyway, that's what's been going on lately in my life. Um, so it's uh, some big changes coming, maybe. We'll just kind of have to see what happens. I don't think they're gonna. I don't think it's gonna change the next few months, but uh, maybe by mid-year, um, you're gonna start seeing some things go a little different. Mostly on the streaming side of things, I don't think you'll see very much difference on the on the uh, YouTube side of things so anyway I just kind of wanted to ramble on about that for a little bit and kind of update uh, any of you guys who who may wonder you know if we're not getting as many streams or as many videos out as as we usually do or whatever um, you know you guys are you guys need to know things before anyone else obviously so that's all I got to say about that hopefully god I gotta get that stupid cord out of here because I'm gonna keep hitting it over and over let's do that real fast let's run up there and grab that cord and get it out of the way I really hate to do this. I mean, I, I I love my job, my current job. It's uh it's great being able to you know work early in the morning because I'm a morning person anyway, uh, and then get home super early as well. Uh, and uh, I just you know I really like it. There's nothing better than it. I, I especially the part about getting home early. I love to get home early. You know, it's nice. That's one thing I hate about uh, doing. One thing I hated about, I used to do what they call an RTD there, which is a regular temporary driver, and I would do from June to January, I would run full full routes. And uh, I didn't mind doing that, but I absolutely hated getting back home at 7 o'clock at night. Uh, it just, it's no fun, you know. I, I could, I'd go to work two hours later, but I'd get home two hours later, and that's what I didn't like about it. And I um, was really hoping I could keep doing this job uh, for my entire career there, but it's just, uh, it's looking like it's probably not going to be a possibility. It might be a possibility, but it's it's iffy, and you know, 
you kind of got to go, you kind of got to take a job when they offer it to you. You know, you can't, you can't really wait around because if you wait around and somebody else gets a hold of that job, then you're going to be put behind them on seniority. Everything's based on seniority at UPS. It's, you know, it all depends on if you've been there longer than somebody else. And whenever you go from being a part-time employee to a full-time employee, um, your seniority gets set, reset. So I don't want to lose all my seniority and be behind uh, a bunch of other people. So I kind of have to do it sooner rather than later so I can bid on a good route, get my own route, and hopefully you know, be happy with my choice because I know for a while I'm not going to be happy with it. Uh, and I hope that that, you know, I don't think that unhappiness will come over into the streams any. It might some initially. After a little while it's going to be... After a little while it should be okay. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'll kind of accept uh, my choices. <laughs> and, uh, and I'll be a lot happier as far as I should be able to buy a new car, which I've been trying to get for a while now. Um, my wife will be happier because I'll be making more money. You know how those women are. They love the money. And, uh, and I've got three kids too, so it's going to help out, you know, providing for them and saving up for their college funds and stuff like that. So, and like I said, I was hoping that the YouTube thing would kind of take off a little bit faster than it has. I make a decent on YouTube. It's not bad. I mean, you know, but it's nowhere near what I can make it work. So anyway, that's what we've been doing. So let's talk a little more about the game. So we'll have enough money to get this water tower put in. Uh, once this water tower is put in, now hopefully we can do that water tower on this episode. Once that's put in, we've got to start saving up for tier 3 equipment. And uh, throughout the winter, we're going to start saving up for that. So the next few episodes you'll see will probably, probably be me buying tier 3 equipment and then trying to get that stuff in place. Um, I've been told that it's extremely hard getting it set up where it needs to go not to do it live <laughs> so but I, I kind of would like to do it so you guys can see me make mistakes so what we'll probably do is we'll we'll set it in there piece by piece we'll probably buy one or two pieces at a time and um, I'll attempt to put it together the proper way but if I can't I probably will edit it a little bit so it doesn't look like it took me quite so long it's, it's gonna be kind of be like putting together a big puzzle I think so Got to look forward to that, and that should be pretty interesting. But you can see we, we, we have really cleaned out a ton of dirt around here. We've got a lot more to go still. I'm going to try to clear out this little corner, and uh, that's going to make a huge difference. Most of, the, most of the good gold was right over in that way where we've already dug. So right now we're in kind of an area that's not quite so good. There might be some decent gold right here, sort of on the corner. But, um... I think most of it we've already got through, so we're just gonna kind of keep on and and see uh, exactly how good this is. I need to get at least at least forty thousand dollars out of this. I think it costs us a lot of money in fuel and a lot of money in in uh, parts and stuff like that. I just had to spend like four thousand dollars in different parts from breakdowns last episode or last last time I played it, which was yesterday. I've been putting about an hour and a half into it every day just trying to get up enough money so we can fix this water tower. It takes a long time to really get anywhere right now. Everything's so expensive and you just don't get that much gold from these little wash plants. So we're really, really, really needing to advance our, uh, our take home here. And as you can see, it takes a little while for the buckets to get filled up. We're only at 60%, so I mean, it's a, it's a long process, you know. But we're gonna get to it. So I'm gonna go ahead and leave you guys at that. We maybe we'll do a little, a uh, little bit of a, little bit of a time lapse here, and uh, I will see you guys again whenever we've, whenever we're starting to go through our gold and see exactly how much we got. It's gonna be a little while, but hopefully, uh, hopefully sooner rather than later.
a broken trailer tire. I guess I go ahead and fix that. Actually, you know what? I can't fix it. I don't have another tire to fix it with yet. But uh, we're out of fuel. We've got almost two sets of buckets done. Uh, out of about five, I think we need to do. So let's go ahead and refuel this thing. I'm going to grab some fuel out of the back of the truck and refuel the generator here real fast. And we'll get back to work and do a little more. It's a... Uh, a long thing this generator right here is the it's freaking awesome it, it lasts so long before you gotta put fuel in it really really nice so anyway let this fill up and uh, we'll get back to work so just a little bit of a progress report here as you can see we're making headway we've almost got this entire corner cleared out and um, I've still got about four buckets to fill up um, after this one right here is done so it uh, shouldn't take too much longer, and hopefully we'll have the money that we need for this sign here. In just a little bit, we're going to find out how much it cost us. And I think that's probably going to take a lot of money, so we, I'm hoping that we don't need to fill more buckets up after this, but we'll see. It's You just never know, because we have to pay that, that percentage uh, of what you get on the claim. And I think I had like 24 ounces of gold, and they took uh, 6 or 7 ounces of it, which is quite a bit. Now that's about eight or 9000 um, dollars so who knows how much they're going to take here, and then, of course, they're going to take more next time. So uh, we've got to be really, really careful with um, how much we spend. I have to make sure I have either two things. Either I need to make sure I have a full tank of gas and the parts I need to fix it, in case something breaks, or um, or five or $6,000 in the bank, because if something breaks... After, and they take all the money after we buy this tower. You know, if they take all that money and we're left with a negative balance and something breaks, we're screwed if we don't have that part in stock. So, anyway. Oh, we're at 100% here. Oh, the other one's not cut on. Shoot. And the other one's waste, waste of money. Let's get out of here and cut this thing off real fast. We're losing gold. We're losing gold. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. And you need to be cut on. So I've got to cut you back on. Okay, good. Let's go take this bucket. And get a new one. But yeah, I, I'm I'm afraid to spend 150 grand like that and not have at least 20,000 saved up just in case we need it. Um, so I don't know of any more parts we would need. I think I think I've bought everything we would need if it breaks down. We've got one motor. We've got uh, we've got the little wash plant sprayers up here. We've got hydraulic hoses. We've got most everything we need. So I think we're okay on all that. I hope. You just never know, though. And I really don't want to take out any kind of loan. I can take out like a $10,000 loan. It wouldn't be that bad. I can pay it back pretty easy. But the loans are ridiculous on this game. As we saw in a previous episode. It cost you a fortune to take a loan out. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and dig some more. And I'll be back in just a little bit. And then uh, give you guys another progress report probably have most of this done whenever I come back so we'll see uh, see where we're at when that happens all right so here's what we got to pay in that's not that bad actually we uh, we processed 1172.65 cubic inches of dirt and we earned 21.45 ounces we only had to pay in three thousand two hundred fourteen dollars so that's really not that bad at all I'm not sure why it's so cheap but uh, I'm not gonna say anything I'll take it Oh man, look at this. This is new. It just started snowing. You know what that means, it's getting cold. It's 36 degrees. So it's definitely not cold enough to freeze yet, but if it's snowing, you know the winter's definitely on its way. Four days to go until winter. We don't have very long, so we definitely need to get this, uh, this tower built as soon as possible. I know it takes a little while for the water to pump into the tower, because you gotta fill it up. Uh, I'm hoping that we have enough time to pump that water into that tower. But uh, it's not looking good. I mean, we really got to work hard and try to get this stuff done as soon as possible. And hopefully, we'll have enough time. I um, I thought maybe I could possibly see how much gold we have um, after we get these next two buckets filled up. But I still don't think we'll have enough. We've got all day long to mine. Uh, all night, too. It's only 1 o'clock in the morning, so we've got plenty of time. Uh, and, and really, you know, realistically, I'm not sure if we're going to be able to mine once it freezes anyway because the ground may freeze and we may not have a way to actually dig the dirt. So, 
yeah, we'll just kind of see what happens. Uh, I do remember seeing that the bulldozer has a scraper, and I'm thinking we may actually need to use that. And if that's the case, we'll have to buy one of those as well, which we're not going to be able to afford before winter, I don't think. So, uh, I mean, if we got a massive amount of, um, of gold in this next clean out here, we might be okay, but I don't think we can get that much. So, we can continue on to dig here, go get these buckets filled up, and, and get as much done as we possibly can. And uh, we'll just kind of see where we stand after after we do the clean out and, uh, and pay for this water tower. All right, so I'll be back uh, with another progress report here in a little bit. And I know they're, they're few and far between, but um, trust me, you guys don't want to see me just do this all day long. I've been playing this for almost uh, a little over an hour now, hour and ten minutes. And uh, this is all I've been doing is just shoveling dirt into two wash plants over and over and over. And occasionally I will empty a bucket and fix a, a busted hose, but not a whole lot going on here. So I'll be back in a little bit and um, we'll see where we stand at that time. All right, guys, that's about it. I think we're going to call it quits right here as far as uh, filling up the buckets go. We've got one that's 100%. I'm out of buckets. I don't have any more. So I don't have anything to to catch uh, the remainder of this stuff with. We're going to be about 90, it's like about 95% on this bucket, so that should be good. So let's go ahead while these while that one finishes. I'm going to go ahead and start taking... Oh, Lord have mercy. It gets the, uh, the lag down here is ridiculous. I'm going to go ahead and take the hoses up here and get them hooked up. And uh, we'll take the one main power cable up here as well. Get it hooked up. We only need one hose at a time, I think. Uh, whoops, it looks like I've left it down here. Um, we only really need one hose hooked up at a time anyway. So there's really no point in bringing them both up here. Uh, we're going to concentrate on getting this machine finished first. And then we'll worry about the other machine after that. So let's see if we can hook that up real fast. We can. There we go. We need to go ahead and unhook the power down here. Um, power, yes. Okay. Now, I completely forgot what I was doing there for a second. Uh, let's unhook the power from right here. Go ahead and get the power cable rolled up. we got to hook it into the multi-box up here. Which should be right here. This has got to go right here. I'll turn on our light and all our power up here, and I think that's about all we need. We've got the hose hooked up, we got the power hooked up. Uh, yeah, everything else is fine. We just need to run down here and get our buckets. Let's go ahead and start processing some of this dirt. Uh, that should stop as soon as it hits. Uh oh, we've got a problem here. Um, we need to unhook this one, I think. No, we need to unhook the next one. That one. Yeah, there we go. We'll process that dirt. That should stop when it hits 100. It should, I hope. Otherwise, we're going to lose precious, precious gold. But I think it stopped. It stopped last time, so we should be okay. And, uh, it has not stopped. It has not stopped. It's not stopped. Stop, stop. It stopped last time. I don't know why it didn't stop that time. Wow, we lost... We may have lost quite a bit there. Really not sure. Um, let's go ahead and dump that in there. Man, that sucks. I wonder why it stopped last time and not this time. Yeah, we should have gotten, uh, we've lost about... Let's see... We lost a good 40% there. That's um, it's not enough to really make a huge difference, but it's enough to, to make a little bit of a difference, and that's all that matters. So we'll just keep on dumping this in here. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff processed if we can. We're already 25% on another magnetite bucket, which is great. It takes a long time to fill those up, and that's only going to fill 10% of the trailer up. So we're going to have a ton of magnetite at some point. So we may have lost a little bit more there because I wasn't paying attention. Let's just drop that bucket there. We've got, uh, we can pour this bucket in here. Put that under here. And, uh, we'll start it and go ahead and pour another bucket in there as well. Put that right down here. We'll pour another bucket in there. Alright, 75%. Let's let it do its thing for a minute until it gets to about 90 and stop. Take this over here and set it down. Another bucket. Start. Pour another bucket in there. Set that to the side. And we only got one more bucket we'll pour in there here in just a second. So that's at 90. We'll stop it. Take it over here. Let's go ahead and pour this last bucket in. And we'll set this bucket down there below it. And 
And it uh, looks like we'll have about four more buckets to go, something like that. We've got, what, two or three sitting down here below us, so we should be fine. And uh, then we'll start processing it all. It says we have zero amount of gold. Um, I guess they took all that gold from us earlier, plus some money. That's what they did. They took three ounces of gold plus $3,000, I guess. Which is fine. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. We may actually be missing one bucket. Hmm. Well, we can go ahead and do some of that if we need to. We can. We, all we gotta do is hook the water hose up to it. So we'll set that over here. This one's done. Look at all this good gold. Man, it's gonna be great. Can't wait to see how much we get. Uh, I hope we get... We really need to get at least like 30, 40 ounces. I don't think we'll get that much, honestly. We may have to do this all over again, and I really hope we don't. Because it just takes so long to get to get a lot of gold out of here. Uh, do we have any more buckets? I don't think that we do. Let's just go ahead and empty... Well, no, let's not do that. Let's not do that. Um, we'll go ahead and turn on this machine. We've only got one... We've got a little bit more in here we got to process, but not much. Uh, so let's go ahead and bring this over here. Hook that up right here. And uh, start with this. Okay, we got zero ounces. Let's see what we get. We're already up to 219 right off the bat. That's That's good news. But I think most of this dirt, like I said, that we've been doing here probably doesn't have a ton of gold in it. So I wouldn't expect to get a whole lot out of here. Um, the last time we found a 24.4 ounce nugget, which we didn't get this time. And uh, that's where a lot of that gold came from. So well, the shadows are kind of freaky looking. Uh, we didn't find any nuggets this time, so we may actually have to go through and get a bit more. I uh, don't know how much. Hopefully not a ton. Go ahead and dump that in here and get this bucket sitting under here. We're up to about four ounces now. Let's see, five ounces. We're looking at about five ounces per bucket, maybe. Which isn't terribly bad, really. I'm gonna set that there. I'll run it down there in a minute. So this should hit ten ounces at fifty percent. I don't think it's gonna hit quite that. It's probably gonna be like four ounces per bucket, something like that. Which still, that's not too awfully bad. That should give us, uh, should give us 20 to 30 ounces, I think, in all. It just depends. I mean, some of these buckets are going to have better gold in them than others. If we can get 30 ounces, we should have enough to get the uh, tower built. But it's going to be real, real close to whether we'll have anything left over. That's the problem. So we got up to 12 ounces now. Come on, we got to hit 20 at least. 20 will give us 20 will give us roughly 21, 22 thousand dollars, I think. So this is about a thousand thousand dollars per ounce, something like that. So we'll definitely go over 20. It looks like, but it looks like we we'll need to get two or three more buckets. We really need to find a nugget. That would help out a ton. I don't think we're going to get 30, so... so... We'll probably come back through here and go ahead and try to dig a bit more gold out. Maybe do like two two to four more buckets. We shouldn't take too awfully long. And then we'll come back and process that. So it looks like we're going to get about 22 ounces of gold here in this particular run. And we have a little bit more in there we can we can go ahead and, uh, and check. Let's cut that. Actually, let's cut this off real quick. Move this back over here. And just check and see just how much more we're going to have. It's not going to be much, but it's going to be it'll be about a bucket full. Not far from it anyway. Looks like about 75% maybe. 70%? 77%, yeah. That's not too bad. Let's go ahead and dump that in here. Oh, not yet. We'll lose some. No, we won't lose any. We won't lose any. It should be close to about 90-some 90, 90 percent. There you go. Uh, we'll drop that bucket. Actually, we'll put it right down here. Nope. Down there where it goes. Put the water hose back up. And turn this on and let it finish processing. Which looks like we'll have probably about 25 to 26 ounces of gold. That's not too too awfully bad. Um, took a lot of buckets to get there and it took us a long time. Probably, geez, almost an hour and a half really to get that much gold. But an hour and a half of real game time, or an uh, hour and a half of real time in about uh, a little less than a day. Almost a, a full day of um, 
say about three quarters of a day of game 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 time <laughs> so uh, we're gonna come back down here we're gonna try to get four more buckets together and then we'll come up here and process that and that should give us um let's see four more buckets should give us about 40 40 ounces something like that i think something like that so let's go ahead and take our buckets back down here and uh, I'm going to go ahead and grab some more. We'll try to get it done as fast as possible. Actually, we had another whole other bucket down here, and I didn't even realize that. Well, let me go ahead and get that one, too. Completely forgot about that bucket. Or is it just full, filled up with uh, gold? No, yeah, we got a whole other bucket down here. Good. Well, shoot, yeah, man, I didn't even know we had that, so that'll give us another, another bucket full. So we might end up with 30 ounces after all. Let's pour that in there, 24%. And hook the water hose back up, of course. Start that up. This will give us uh, about a 95% bucket, I think. And we'll go ahead and dump that into the wave table as well. And uh, see if we hit 30. I don't think we'll hit 30. We might hit close to it, but 95. I was right on the money, wasn't I? Don't think we'll hit 30, but we'll hit fairly close to it, I think. Alright, hose goes back up. Turn that on, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and run this bucket down here as it counts up. So we see 26, 27. Come on, 27. There you go. No. 27. 28. 29. 27. Maybe 28 ounces. We're not getting a whole lot out of that bucket, are we? 5% left. 27.8. Okay, let's go ahead and unhook that. A little disappointing out of that bucket, but that's fine. And uh, we'll go ahead and roll this and take it on back down there where it goes hook it back up and we gotta get that power cord hook it back up if I can not get stuck on things and uh, we'll mine just a little bit more I'm gonna go ahead and fill all this other stuff up get this stuff hooked back up like it's supposed to go and we'll, we'll like we'll mine a little bit more and uh, kind of see what happens after that we need at least uh, I'd like to get at least 40 if I could so all right, guys, I will see you guys back here in a bit, and um, hopefully we'll have enough to go to go do a little work. Oh, me, we've got a destroyed engine here. That's going to set us back a little bit. It's not good. I was really hoping that wouldn't happen. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, fill that up there. Did I miss it completely? We got a little bit. Okay, well, let's cut the tractor off, and I guess we'll go and fix that destroyed engine. Jeez. It's always something, you know? So, uh, let's see. It's pretty easy to fix. We just grab a, um... Yeah, it's definitely sparking. We don't worry about cutting the power off to it. We just go ahead and take it out right here. So, all we gotta do here is, uh, just grab a wrench and, um, undo the, the nuts here on the side. We've got two on the bottom. And uh, the bad thing about it is, since this one's destroyed, the other one's going to be right behind it. Um, why can I not get to the other one? There we go. Okay. Pretty easy, and we just pick that motor right up out of there. Now, this thing's pretty heavy, but I am extremely, extremely strong. So, uh, it doesn't really matter. I don't feel a thing. I bought two motors... Uh, a while back knowing that something like this was gonna happen and I think that the one in there I've got sitting in here is a good one but I'm not a hundred percent sure because I kind of threw away the good one by accident I had to go back and get it we've already destroyed four we got four in there we got, look how much stuff's in our dumpster I wonder how much all this comes up to right now thousand one hundred four dollars a lot of stuff in there I probably need to clean that out at some point so uh, cause I'm sure I'm getting some lag from that so let me go ahead and grab this new motor I think this is a new one and we'll install this one here and hopefully that'll fix the wash plant now the problem is since this one went out it won't be long and I think the other one's probably gonna go out as well so yeah we'll just have to see luckily they're not too hard to fix awesome that is fixed good so this was the new one let me go ahead and tighten these back up. Probably it was, would be a good idea not to uh, not to turn it on until I get it tight, but um, I think it's going to be okay. We got one more here. 
And this wash plant is now fixed. There we go. Nice. Let's go ahead and jump back in the tractor and hope our other wash plant don't break before before we actually get these buckets full. We're only at 2% on one, so... Looks like one wash plant's actually turned off, so let's go turn that back on real fast. Let me down. There we go. Get them both up and running. We need to get this thing knocked out as soon as possible. Got a bit of a glitch right there in the wall of dirt, huh? There we go. Nice big old scoop of dirt. All right, guys. Well, it looks like we've done it. We've uh, I just got through with the last few buckets here. It's sun setting. Um, it's going to get cold here in a little bit. Only four days till winter still, and uh, we've got 40.818 ounces. Now, we're going to go ahead and go to the store and just see what we can get off this. <clears throat> I don't know if it's going to be quite as much as we need. We're going to have to wait till after 12 to see how much money we have taken away from us. And we have to have enough money to be able to fuel, fuel the fuel uh, can up again. It's 24%, so we need to fill that up again as well. So that's, that's a problem. Although we do have $1,000 worth of things in the trash bin that we can make money on that if we really need to so we have a way to make a little bit of money but just not much so uh i guess we probably are to go ahead and cut this thing off real fast so it doesn't start and burn the fuel out while we're gone um we've got enough we've got enough fuel to to at least make some extra money just not a whole lot so anyway let's go ahead and go to the blacksmith and get this gold refined and uh, i will be back as soon as we find out how much we're going to get. I hope um, so if we get 21,000 per per 20 ounces we're going to lose a little bit. We should get we should have about maybe a little over 10,000 remaining which should be good I think um, I'm not sure. It's going to be really borderline whether we need to get more or not. Uh, I hope it'll be enough. We'll see back in a second all right so here we are let's go ahead and get 20 ounces here you're know, just sitting here looking like this is really a beautiful game if you just sit and look at it. I mean, it has obviously some pretty bad graphical deals on like some of the cars and stuff. But if you just look at the trees and the way the wind sways them and the rain coming down, it's it's a very relaxing, pretty game. I think I'm a I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. Like I I've never really took the time to just look at it, but it looks nice. Like they did a really good job with it. No, I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just my love for the game that. Makes me feel like it looks a lot better than it really does. I'm not sure, but I like it. I would like to hear more wind, maybe. This should be done any minute now. Really wish we could find the other stories around here. I think there's like one or two more, but who knows where they're at. So there's one. We got one more we got to do here. We got an 18 ounce bar. In the back of the truck, and uh, we'll get this one more done, and then we'll go ahead and take them to the bank, and we'll go ahead and smelt the. Actually, you know what? We'll we'll probably not worry about the .818 ounces. That's really not that big of a deal, I don't think. Okay, so we're done with it. We got this tiny little gold bar, 0.7 ounces. Not very much here. What we're gonna do is, we're gonna go ahead and go to the bank, and we're going to get just enough fuel. Just enough fuel after we we're gonna we're gonna go to the bank and see how much money we have. We're gonna get just enough fuel that way we still have 150,000 left. But we have enough fuel to get a little bit of gold out of it. Because they're gonna take probably I'm I'm guessing roughly uh, probably seven ounces or the equivalent in money, seven thousand dollars, maybe a little more. Um, that's just my guess. So we just want to get enough fuel to be able to make that money back. So here we go. Let's go ahead and sell the gold bars. 
22,000, so the gold price is up. Yeah, it's up a little ways. It's actually the highest. It's, uh, well, it was a little higher earlier, but it's not bad. 22,000 a piece. Let's sell that. Yes. Sell this one. Yes. And sell this one. We might be okay here. $960. That's not too bad there. Alright, so we got 159,335. So what we want to do is we want to go ahead and fill this thing up if we can. I'm not sure if we'll be able to fill it up all the way or not. Um, we've got every part we need except for a motor for the wash plant. But we have one wash plant with a brand new motor and we've got parts for everything else. So I don't think we're going to need anything else. Um, unless we have a part break on the pump. But those parts usually aren't very costly. As long as we can get a little bit of gold before uh, before anything breaks down, we should be okay. So, whoa, let's not crash into the only gas pump in the game. So let's go ahead and see if we can put a little bit of fuel on here. I don't know if we'll be able to fill it all the way up or not. I'd really be okay with about half full. Oh, uh, shoot. No, don't drop it. What are you doing? Let's see. Can we go... Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and fill it all the way up. It only costs 20, 21 13 so not really that big of a deal. We can get a lot of gold with that. And we still got some money left. Um, i trying to think if there's anything else that we might need to get at the store. And really, I can't think of anything. I can't think of anything that I know might break down. We need to get a trailer tire at some point because obviously the, the trailer tire is uh, is messed up. But I guess we got enough money to get the uh, tower fixed up now, guys. Um, I think we probably should wait till morning to do it. Uh, of course, you know what? We can't wait till morning to do it because if we do, we may lose some of our money and we won't have enough to do it. So yeah, we're going to have to go ahead and do it right now. I, I hate that, honestly, because I really would like to do it in the morning time. And I don't know if, I don't know if it's going to take time to build or if it gets all built at once. I guess we'll find out here in just a little bit. Pretty excited about this though, and we'll go ahead and hook the water pump up to it as well, so we can pump some water into it. Over the next few days, that's kind of what the idea is going to be. Oh, we broke a truck tire. Of course, everything's going to start breaking right now. We may have a, a good tire at the shop. I'm not sure. I'll have to check and see. It means you know, and if one breaks, you know there's going to be another one right behind us. So now we got two broken tires: one on the truck and one on the trailer. But the good thing about it is, I mean, we are getting very close to starting to have to buy Tier 3 stuff. And, uh, I mean, that we're going to get so much more gold with that Tier 3 stuff, it's going to be ridiculous. I think over the wintertime we'll probably just do some drilling in the claim here and trying to find out where uh, the good concentration of gold is going to be. Man, this thing is busted up. Which one's broken? Oh, that's not good. Let's not do that. I'm not sure which one's broke. I can't really tell. It's kind of dark. That front one. See, it ain't turning. Yep, it's that front one. Alright, so we're back here at the claim. But actually, it don't get dark anymore either. Uh, not like it was. It stays pretty pretty light all night now, which is kind of nice. So I'm going to go set up some some lights around this, uh, this tower. So at least we can kind of see what's going on. We'll just cut the truck off right here. And uh, we're going to go set some lights up around this tower. Take the generator over there so we can actually see it once it's built. And then uh, once we get that thing built, we'll probably mine a little bit more gold. So let's set these things up. We'll set one like right here. Uh, yeah, let's turn that just a just a hair. Right about there. Don't fall backwards, please. Good. Let's set another one up. I think there's actually one over here somewhere. There is. I don't know if we can actually get to it or not. Maybe we can. There's two over here, actually. Yeah, I don't think... I was about to say, I don't think we have cords running to them anymore. Man, look at this giant pit that we've dug out. Holy cow, man. That is crazy. I mean, there's just... We've gotten so much gold out of there. It's ridiculous. Tons and tons of gold. Uh, let's set one like right here. Yeah, that'll work great. Good. And let's get one more. 
I think the one over there actually is missing a light bulb. So let's go ahead and grab this last one. We've got uh, about three game hours, three or four game hours so we can get this set up. It shouldn't take us that long, I don't think. So let's grab this one. Now when we get started after this, when we start getting more gold, we're going to probably come over here and try to level this whole area out before we drill it, I think. And then we'll come through here with the drill and we'll drill it all out and see... Uh, See kind of if there's any real gold. Now, we've, we've drilled some of that already, so we don't have to worry about that. We may just go ahead and clear out that spot first before we do anything else. All right, so let's go ahead and set this one up right here. Perfect. All right, let's get some... Or let's get the generator next. And then we'll get some, some power cables and run them over there as well. I hope I can find all the cables. They're all around here somewhere. I'm sure I can. This is gonna be a show. I mean, this is like this is the this is a big deal. So I want to set up for it really nice, you know. All right, what's the generator here? We need to get the multi outlet, and that's gonna be right down here as well, right here. Unhook the cables from that. Take that over here. We'll need that for the lights, obviously. Set that right here beside it. Let's go ahead and get some cords. I know this is taking a while, and I do apologize for that. I wish I could say it's all killer, no filler, but it ain't. Not always. There's a lot of filler in it. <laughs> a lot of filler. Come on. Okay, so I'm going to hook all this stuff up. And then, uh, then we'll start the lights up. So I'll see you guys here in just a little bit. Okay, last one. You guys ready? You guys ready to see what we can do with 150 grand? Let's crank this thing up so we can get a good view of it. Oh, perfect. Look at that. All right, here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Let's go up here and build this thing. Awesome, man. I can't wait. It's probably not going to be as spectacular as I think, but... Yes, bye. Oh, look at that. And it painted it. It is a beauty. Look at it. City of Haynes. Oh, it's brand new. I wish uh, I wish to have any rust on it at all. Does it actually have water in it? It's got 10,000 gallons of water. So yeah, we've got to pump water into it. I don't know how to do this. So I guess I'm assuming we go to the end valve. So we can do little pumps or big pumps and then come out. Uh... Awesome. Okay, cool. Well, let's go ahead and get the big pump set up and get it pumping in this thing. I don't know how long it's going to take. Probably a while. I wonder if one of those big hoses will reach all the way over here. We've got $7,000 left. Not hardly anything, actually. Uh, let's go ahead and get, wind this one up. We'll leave the other one where it's at. Um, actually, I'll drag the other one as far as I can that direction. Look at that. That is cool looking, man. I'm actually... I love the way those lights light that tower up. That is awesome. That's thumbnail right there, guys. That's exactly what that is. That is a thumbnail and a half. I wish we had a way to keep a light on it all the time like that, you know? That look, just looks really cool. Right here, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. It's an awesome view. Very, very happy. Very happy. Okay, let's go ahead and put the gas, the, the fuel down right here. Uh, we got lots of things we got to work on around here. Everything's breaking down on the Jeez, truck, trailer, everything. Um, let's go ahead and hook up to the water pump. Oh, that's right. Before I need to do this, I forgot. We want to drag this hose as far as we can that way. Um, that way we know where to hook the pump up at. You know, this, to be honest, whoops. I say, to be honest, we might be able to drag the hose almost all the way there. You can really, you can really feel the weight of the hose as you're dragging it through here. It just like it's going slow, so it makes you feel like it's it's weighted, you know. All right, so that's about right. I think we'll just leave it right there. I think, and uh, we'll go ahead and hook up to it now and see if we can get this thing filled up with water through the night. 
Uh, it's 43 degrees. It's not snowing yet, but it probably will be here in a little bit. Oh, jeez, don't do that. What's going on? Okay, hook up to that. Get back in the truck. Get it right over here. Oh, yeah, we definitely got plenty of room, so we'll just leave it right about here. Yeah, the bad thing about this, this is we can't really run the, uh, we can't really, like, we can't really mine for any gold while this is filling this water tower. We're just going to kind of sit here and wait. But that's okay. We can wait for a little while. So let's go ahead and put this in the end section, which is going to be up here. And we'll grab the other one real fast. And if you guessed it goes in the out section, you'd be correct. Put that in the out section. And then run it to the water tower. All the way over here. And I think it'll reach. I hope it'll reach. Ooh, then we'll... Uh-oh. That might not. It should. Right here. There. Nice. Okay, so it's hooked up. Let's turn it on see if we got enough water pressure to get into that tower. Do we have water going into the tower? We do! Look at that! It's going to take a while for it to get there, but it is definitely going in there. You know, we might be better off... It's going to take a long while to go in there, huh? We might be better off getting some money up and buying another pump and pumping this in while we wait. 53 gallons per minute. We could actually hunk up a small... hunk up hook up a small pump as well if we wanted to right there. We, we do have a little small water pump, but I don't think we have enough hose to reach. I don't know if we'd have enough hose to reach that or not. We, we might think about doing that later on, but I'm going to let this sit here and run for a while. I appreciate you guys watching this episode with me. I know the microphone's kind of far away from my face, and it's probably the levels are going to be kind of off, I think, but um, hopefully it doesn't sound too bad. Anyway, we got the tower built. Awesome, guys. Got the tower built. Um, we're going to lose some money here in a little bit, but we should gain that back pretty quick. And uh, as long as we don't have any major breakdowns. And, um, man, I mean, we're, we're making progress. So, got this done. It looks freaking fantastic. Next step is to get this this Tier 3 wash plant built. And uh, and then we can really we can really start some things then. I mean, we'll really make some good, some good gold out of that. So, I'll see you guys later on. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you would like to support me in any way, shape, or form, you're more than welcome to join my Twitch. Um... You can, you can sub on there. You can sub on YouTube if you want. Um, I may set a Patreon up uh, at some point. Right now, I do not have one. Um, I have asked, had a couple people ask me about that. But uh, we do stream live on Twitch generally every week. and uh, Actually, we do stream live every week. And most of the time, it's on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays, and then Saturdays and Sundays as well. Uh, it's been a little slack lately because, like I was talking to you about work earlier things going on um, with works might change the schedule up some but we mainly do i racing on there but we also do uh, American truck simulator on there we do uh, gold rush on there now some just kind of some of the grindy stuff and uh, and we're gonna start doing some RPGs and stuff on there too so anyway guys again thanks for watching I appreciate all the support and um, man I, I hope you're enjoying this as much as I am because I'm, I'm really really starting to get into this game now so I will see you guys later on. Have a great day. Bye-bye.